Haunted Mansion Tournament Expert Division opening round. Hole number 10. Here we're going to be using a King Slayer, King Maker uh, type ball. Setting up for a around max range inbringer shot. The adjustment for the drive is P3 plus 10% max. We're playing with six top spin, three left spin. We're going to set up at P3 max rest. APOC 5 and 6, you'll have the blue ring touching the rough on the right at P3 max rest. APOC 7, you'll have one third of the blue ring in the right rough. APOC 8, will have two thirds of the blue ring in the right rough. All at P3 max rest. If you have APOC 4, you can play this shot. You'll need a P4 ball. And you'll need to start at the top of the plus 22. And mimic the ball guide. So we're using a half a ball left curl. And we're either going to use circle drop over power. Or just before circle drop over power on this drive. Because we're driving it down a hill. And the hill... The hill slopes down and to the right this drive needs to be you can't you can't come in too hot you you'll roll long through the fairway into the rough or if you come up soft you'll uh you'll roll short into the rough on the right that being said if you pull down to the plus 13 or higher when you adjust then use circle drop over power. If you pull down to the plus 12 or lower, then you'll need to use circle drop over power. I mean, just before circle drop over power. So, plus 13 or higher, circle drop. Plus 12 or lower, just before circle drop. Always half a ball of curl, like you see here in the picture. So we're looking for anything 393 plus, 392 plus, somewhere around there is where I've been getting. Now it just depends on where you're at, which side the fairway you are. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit short of the pin with my at max end bringer. So it's the replay is kind of messing up a little bit here. But if your max end bringer is short of the cup, then what you'll do is you'll add 5% elevation for every five rings short of the cup you are. So it plays the standard end bringer rule plus 20% add slider using the standard EB method. Right? That's if you can get to the pin with your bullseye. If Max Club catches you before you get to the pin, then every five rings short, add 5% slider and play max numbers. So I was roughly 10 rings short there. I played that P3 plus 30 max. If you don't like... To doing that you don't want to play the end bringer you can play a thorn dunk as long as you don't roll out too long on your drive if you're more than three rings from men with your thorn you can play a thorn dunk that shot plays zero elevation at slider so fine men count rings up Till the bullseye is just inside the back center of the cup. And it's 1% per ring counted from men. Don't pull through the yellow if you're playing the thorn dunk. And 
The other thing that can happen on the drive, if you hit a great right on the drive, it's not very great right friendly because this slopes to the right. So there's a good chance that you're going to roll off into the rough on the right. If you roll off into the rough on the right, the Nirvana shot plays P3 plus 5% at 20 slider. That's using five and a half top spin and three left spin to straighten out the ball guide and having the tip of the ball guide just through the back of the cup with the Nirvana. P3 plus five at 20 slider. Five and a half top, three left. That's with the rough iron. And what I'm talking about when I say in the rough, you'll be in this general area right here, just above this bunker. Because all of this slopes down to the right. So any minor great right just shoots right down the hill and hits the rough. But if you are in that circle, P3 plus 5 at 20 slider, 5.5 top, 3 left, hit perfect, and you should be walking away with the eagle, even if you go into the rough. So, good luck. Hope you guys get it. We'll catch you on the next one.